Hey guys, for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to configure, troubleshoot and test high availability using two Cisco SA firewalls. The firewalls I'm using for today's test are two brand new Shiny 55 16X firewalls. And before I started recording, I actually configured these two firewalls for HA. There was no point seeing me typing the commands. So in this video, which is a bit different than the other videos, I'm going to be showing you how to check the running config, how to check for HA config. So this video is a bit of walk in the park. We want to see the behavior. We want to pull the heartbeat cable. We want to turn off the firewall, the standby, the active one. And we want to see what happens when we do that. So let's just assume that this is the first time we are logged into the firewall. We want to discover the config. We want to find out whether this firewall is standby or HA. We want to audit this firewall. So the first thing to do is to show run failover. So the first thing you want to do is to look at this line, failover LAN unit primary. This tells this firewall, this particular instance within the HA, that I am the primary, I'm the active one. No matter what happens, my role is to be the king. If I lose power, if I lose connection to the standby unit, if I, let's say, get rebooted, if I get kicked out, I'm still the king. I see myself as a king. So let's compare it with the standby unit. Let's console in there and have a look. So you can see right there by the host name, it's standby, it's secondary. And if I look at the config, you can see failover LAN unit secondary. It means that no matter what happens, I'm always a successor. I'm just in standby. And if you're wondering what a failover LAN interface does for you, it's the heartbeat. Let's have a look at failover standby config log. This command does this. Exactly, you get this error message. So if you try to change the config on the standby unit, basically you can't unless you turn this off. So let's have a look at the failover link. Here I configured gigabit interface 1 slash 2 as the failover link. You see, it's a point-to-point -point link. What it does it makes the communication possible between standby and active unit. But it doesn't pass any data over this link. It's just control plane traffic. It's just heartbeat. And if I want to exit from the config mode, there's a nice reminder that says, hey, I didn't save anything. I didn't execute anything. If you thought you did something, you're wrong. You can't run any configuration command on the standby unit. And that is the result of this line on the show run failover failover standby config lock. I don't have a strong recommendation whether to leave it on or turn it off. I prefer to use this command all the time because I don't want the standby unit to mess up the config. And let's just assume that for a second you forget that this is a standby unit and you make configuration changes like this, like changing the host name and stuff. And uh, the result could be anything, you know. So I prefer to leave it on all the time. All right, so let's have a look at the state of the HA. If I run the command show failover, I can see the serial number of the devices, the serial number of the mate, uh, the state of the failover. You can see this is the secondary unit. The state is standby, it's ready, and it's constantly checking the primary unit. And it does that by sending this request, hey, are you there, are you there? And our primary unit responds that, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. And if it sees that for some reason the primary unit is dead, it will take over the throne. And actually we can simulate that. So I can just pull the plug from the interface gigabit 1 slash 2 and see how is the firewall going to behave. And I'm recording this using another camera. And the active firewall is the one below with the LED color green under the active status. And the one on the top is the standby one. So I'm going to pull the plug. You can see it's unplugged. And I haven't seen a change yet. If I do a show failover, I still see the standby ready. Okay, you can see the LED color has changed and now the standby unit is active. So it's assuming that the king is dead, the primary unit is gone. So he's taking over the active role of forwarding the traffic. Interesting, right? Another cool feature is that if you unplug any of the inside or outside ports from the firewall, the firewall detects this behavior and it will switch the primary to standby. So here the assumption of the developers of the code is that if you have a link to the primary, you must have a link to the secondary. And that's the philosophy of having an HA. You can't just have a single link to one of these firewalls. And I think this logic completely makes sense. So I plugged in the cable back and now the primary firewall is running as act. So let's unplug the cable and reboot this firewall. As you can see right there, 
I lost power to this firewall and it's trying to reboot itself to gain the primary role. And in the meantime, you can see right there that the standby firewall has taken over. It's forwarding the traffic while the primary firewall is rebooting. And once the power cycle is done, the primary firewall will try to forward the traffic. It think of itself as the active firewall. And this is a very brief moment that both firewalls, because of lack of communication, think that they should be the active one. Okay, let's have a look at the LEDs. The secondary is active and the primary is active as well. And this is the moment that I told you about. So both firewalls are trying to forward traffic and um, obviously it will take some time for the primary and secondary to negotiate with each other. Let's wait a little bit longer. The firewall is completing the boot process. It's coming up and it's active obviously there we go it says detected an active mate and it's trying to replicate the configuration from mate obviously there is no configuration changes and it says end configuration replication from mate and notice that once the primary finished negotiation with the secondary it decided to be the standby and that is because preemption is not supported within the HA and I'm pretty sure you know the reason and it's because this is an active standby it's not an active active let's switch this firewall to be active and the command to do that is very simple failover active and once I execute the firewall become active switching to active all good Okay, so let's verify. Show failover. And obviously we can see the primary unit is active. Okay, until now we kind of simulated an incident by pulling a plug, rebooting the firewalls, you know, um, unplugging the outside inside interfaces. Obviously we didn't do it here, but these are incidents. What happens when we want to gracefully switch the role between primary and secondary? Obviously, there should be an easier way, and that is to run a command that switches the role from primary to active. For instance, you want to patch this firewall. You want to reboot it gracefully without losing the connections. And this is one of the best practices that you should use. You switch from primary to secondary. You patch the primary firewall and then you switch the role back to primary and patch the secondary firewall. The command to do that is very simple. You can execute remote commands on the mate on the secondary firewall. Failover, um, not active. You can see failover question mark gives you a couple of options. One of them is failover active, which we already tested. The other one is failover reload standby. What it does, it reboots the standby device. That's not what we want. There is another command, failover, failover exec is the command that we want to use. So when we run failover exec standby and whatever after it, it will execute the command on the standby unit. In this case, I activated the standby unit using failover exec standby failover active. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment it down below. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing.